It's been a rough few years for the Desert Rangers. When the world ended, they tried to bring some order to what was left of Arizona. But then the Cochise AI woke up and they found themselves in a fight to the death with its robot army. In the end, they had to nuke their own base to kill the damn thing for good. Been hard going ever since. Then, the Rangers heard from a fellow calling himself the Patriarch. Said he owned Colorado, but his kids were trying to steal it from him. And if the Rangers were to come and put him in their place, he'd give Arizona all the food and supplies it needed to rebuild and survive. to say no. Our route's around that dam on the far shore. Scouts, check out the ice and lead us across. Yes, ma'am. So the brass and Ranger Team November crossed the Rockies. Because the aid he was promising the Rangers wasn't just their best hope. It was their last. Okay, Major. All good. Come ahead. But that's the thing about the Rangers. It doesn't matter how hard it gets or how many of them fall. They keep on fighting. The Rangers never stop fighting. Welcome to Wasteland 3, folks. This is going to be awesome, let me tell you. Wasteland 3 is basically the new Fallout. And it's actually created by the creator of the original uh, Fallout games. So that makes me really excited. That's, that's a stamp of quality right there. And we are jumping in and playing uh, this game on the second hardest difficulty. We are playing as Rangers. The default difficulty is Wastelander. And we're going to go through, traipsing through Colorado in the post apocalypse post-apocalyptic Colorado and see if we can't find some trouble, which I'm sure we can. So if you're ex excited about this as I am, because I am really excited, why not smash that like button and let me know that you're enjoying it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, why not do that so you keep up to date with what's coming out. All right, let's see here. So we have... We have to select some a team here. So uh, this is a, a blind playthrough. I have only watched a short, short review of the game, and the review was re the review was very, very positive. So I am looking forward to this. So all right, okay, let's see. Young Rangers, lovers and rivals since joining the Rangers. Yuri and Spencer's competitiveness drives them to excellent and risky dares. Punk lovers. Uh, thrills, kills, and spills are the life breath of these uh, star-crossed punk rock lovers who fought their way out of the cult they were raised in. Okay. 
father and daughter, Williams has been a nearly wordless killing machine since his wife died. His daughter, Lee Tsing, does all the talking and some of the killing. Okay. Mentor and student, mercs who served under good commanders and, and bad, they hope this time they are fighting for folks who won't make them do terrible things. Tech heads, science geeks who fell in love, they are socially awkward with outsiders but chatty with each other, reveling in jokes only they get. Okay, so we have some skills over here, so now we're back to the starting two. So we have Yuri, automatic weapons, she has two, makes you more effective with submachine guns and assault rifles, recommended attributes, coordination, awareness, speed. Weapon modding allows you to modify your weapons and strip them down for parts. Hard ass allows you to intimidate others to do what you want and throw them off guard. No quirk, background, warmonger. Yuri's father taught him the Russian way to hunt using heavy weaponry. Overkill isn't enough for Yuri in verbal or physical fights, and demonstrating his competitive spirit often gets him into trouble. Range damage bonus plus 5%. And we have small arms, makes you more effective with handguns and shotguns. Mm, first aid, makes you more effective when using healing items. Brawling, makes you more effective with fist-based weapons. Laura start out weak, but have great potential at higher levels. Recommended attributes, coordinations, uh, coordination, intelligence, charisma. No quirk, duelist. Uh, a cunning street kid who became a prize fighter. Her strategy and knowledge of an anatomy from self patching put her ahead of the game. When the Arizona crisis ended the fight game, she joined the Rangers. Patient plus three percent. All right, I guess we should go through all these and see. I do like the brawling thing. I I think I'd like to 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 probably do that. So melee combat. It makes you more effective with bladed and blunt weapons. Armor modding allows you to modify armor. Hard ass allows you to intimidate others. Uh, bruiser melee damage plus five percent. Then you have small arms mechanics. You can repair vehicles, generators, and other machines more efficiently or effectively. You also do more damage to mechanical foes, and then lockpicking allows you to open containers, doors, and other locked objects. That seems useful. Wild Child, initiative plus 5%. Melee combat, which I like sneaky shit. <laughs> it makes it easier to disarm alarms, evade detection spot, hidden objects, and damage underwear enemies. Animal Whisper allows you to tame a friendly animals to follow you and temporarily tame hostile animals in combat. Okay. Recluse, combat speed, plus 0.2. Sniper rifles, nice. Uh, kiss ass, allows you to sweet talk information out of others. Okay, lock picking, and she's an Avenger. Sneak attack, plus 10. That seems quite an interesting combo, these two. I like those two. Uh, big guns. Heavy machine guns, flamethrowers, and such. Explosives. Uh, deal more damage. And diffuse. Uh, kiss ass. Old hand. Uh, crit resistance plus 5%. She has small arms. Armor modding. And weapon modding. That seems really interesting as well. That's an interesting pairing as well. X Merc experience bonus plus five percent. That seems a very interesting pairing as well. And then tech heads, automatic weapons. Mm -hmm. Barter allows you to buy items. I like that. Kiss ass and connoisseur perception plus one. Oh, what was uh? Oh, there. And then small arms. Nerd stuff allows you to use and hack computers and turn hostile robots to your side. Weird science increases the damage you deal with unconventional types of weapons and serves as a requirement for exotic high-tech equipment. Okay. And techie. Energy resistance plus 10, energy damage bonus plus 5. And then we're back. 
I kind of like the father-daughter team. They're all interesting. They're all interesting. Hmm. Hmm, who do we go for? I kind of like Chris and Chris as well. With the science stuff. No, we're, we're going with uh, the father-daughter father team. Select this pair. Could also create custom characters. What's that like? Okay, that's... I think I like that idea. I think I like that idea. Okay, so... I'm fine with the way they look. Uh, appearance... Uh, that's fine. Uh, let's take that. Uh, starting weapon. Hmm. I actually want to look at attributes before I select a starting weapon, don't you? Don't I? So, intelligence is your ability to make mental connections and do tactical thinking. Gain plus one skill points every two intelligence. So, intelligence is important, I think. Charisma... Let, let's start from, from the top. Action points, max plus one. So we have seven points remaining. Can we reduce what we have already? We can. Okay. So... If we raise this up, status effect resistance... Plus nine percent coordination is your physical condition, self-control, and health. Take care of your body, and it will take care of you. That seems important too. Luck. Wow. That's a lot of stuff. Awareness. Awareness is your sense of your surroundings. A good rain your nose. That often it's your eyes and ears that keep you alive. Strength is your raw physical power and ability to shrug off harm. It lets you hit harder, throw farther, and also serve as a requirement for the biggest, baddest heavy weapons and armor. Speed is your physical quickness and reaction time. Strike first, strike true, then get out of there. Intelligence, charisma. Charisma is your force of will and personality. Charisma ranger can unleash strike abilities more often learn and adapt more quickly and can be a more effective leader. Okay. So I think I want to put something into intelligence. Let's stick intelligence up there. So how many are there? One, two, three. So there are seven. So we could in reality put all three of them on, th or all seven on the, of them on three. Uh, I think I want some awareness for sure. Uh, coordination is important too. So that leaves us with one point. We'll put into speed. Skills. Uh, automatic weapons. How many points do we have? Five. Hmm.
Okay, so if we give you automatic weapons times two. So big guns, brawling, melee combat, small arms, sniper rifles. We only have a few points. Uh, hmm. I think I want to get weapon modding. Uh, and Lock picking. Hmm. This is tough, guys. This is tough. What to get? Cell value plus 50%, buy cost minus 1%. Now the cell value there could be nice. Toaster repair. Allows you to repair broken toasters. Uh, okay. Improves your ability to avoid dangers on the world map and contend with hostile wildlife. You know what? I think I'll take that. And... Then starting weapon. Assault rifle. Work. Uh, some rangers are quirkier than others. Quirks are completely optional. Selecting quirks. A quirk gives your ranger a powerful bonus and penalty, changing their playstyle dramatically. Character creation is the only chance you'll have to assign a quirk, and once you're, you do, you're stuck with it. Choose wisely. Okay. And blunderer. People like teasing you about dumb strength and the smart application of force. You like squeezing those people until one of their bones break. Okay. Bop bag. Hits are just a part of life. Armor plus six combat speed. Circus freak. <laughs> it transforms you and you become its vessel. It's funny, no one ever even cared who you were until you put on the nose. Okay. Death wish cannot wear armor of any kind. That seems like a bad thing. Doomsday's prekker cannot read skill books. Doesn't sound good either. Leadership has no lone wolf leadership has no benefits. Uh, cannot be revived during combat. Rehardy, you've never had the sniffles or toothache. You even bounce back from nasty injuries. And when something knocks, does knock you out, you stay down. Cannot be revived during combat conquer level plus five, okay. Mime. No. Poindexter plus one bonus skill point every two level ups. Hmm. Nah. Armenia, Christian Prince Tanks to catch for no. Set of Masochist receives plus thirty percent thirty three percent damage. Being plus three action points for each kill in combat once per turn, action points minus one. Two pump chump. Start combat with plus two AP for the first two turns. After the first two turns, lose one AP and minus fifty percent chance for six turns. No. Varangian blood. When an ally is down in combat, enter Berserker Rage. 
gaining 100% critical chance and 3 action points one turn. After Berserker is then minus 4 action points for the next 2 turns. Waste Roamer. Uh, so we get a lot of resistances, but we lose. We don't gain as much experience. We have the Squeezins. Melee damage bonus minus 20% range damage bonus. Gain 50% damage while drunk now. I think we'll go with no Kirk. Okay. And then... I'm fine with your appearance. Let's do attributes. I think I want you to have some charisma. And... and what else? What else? Uh, I think you should have some intelligence as well. Just a little bit. But it doesn't really benefit you that much. But if you're going to be a leader, then I'd like you to be able to think as well. So you know what? Let's do that. Uh, I think we'll put one in luck or in coordination. Mm. And two in strength. I actually think, let's take the Charisma and the Intelligence down a notch. And then give you some more, because I think we'll make her a brawler or a melee person. Uh. So I think we'll do that. Yeah. Skills. Melee combat. Definitely get two in there. Why does she only have... Is that because we didn't give her more intelligence? Let's try something. If I give you... Yeah. So, if we're not doing that, then we might as well do this. Because you'll still have two. So we get one skill for every two intelligence. So we'll start with a little bit lower intelligence, I guess. Go with melee combat. Yeah, strength, coordination, and speed. And then we'll give you, I think, first aid. That too. I wish I could... Ah, name. Okay. Uh, let's uh, do... Well, back in the day I always... What the hell? Can't I write? I can. Call myself that. So that's what I'll call me. Call myself. Uh, background. Uh, not bookworm, I think. Uh, desert cat perception plus one. Hmm. Goat killer. Lethal weapon. So well, that's for her. Mm -hmm. Sex machine combat speed plus zero point two. Boss hard as vicious avenger penetration plus two. Okay. I'm actually think, thinking sex machine. 
I do like the experience bonus though. Yeah, sex machine. That is fine. And for you... You can be called Hawk. I am okay with that. Uh, and you will be a lethal weapon for plus 10% melee damage bonus. Uh, your appearance is fine. So we'll take that one. Uh, your starting weapon will be a... So, if we... Melee combat... Uh, Makes you more effective with bladed and blunt weapons, okay. So, starting weapon... I think we'll go with the bladed one. Or blunt one. No, we'll go with the bladed one. Quirk, we'll go with no quirk for you, I think. Yeah. So no quirks for anyone. All right. Confirm. All right. 30 minutes in and we haven't even played yet. That's insane. All right. We're in battle. Okay, my turn. Hmm. So we can move up here, that'll cost four action points. Left click an enemy within your weapon's range to attack them. Enemies within your attack range will show your hit chance above their head. Okay. 79% chance to hit. I think we're fine where we are. Let's shoot him. Right. Action points allow you to move, attack, and reload your weapons during combat. Each weapon costs a certain amount of AP to fire. You have enough left to fire your weapon again. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. 54% chance to hit. 94% chance to hit. 54. Out of range. 93. Well, I guess we'll have to shoot you. Okay, then we have Hawk. During combat, the rangers may need to take cover or change attack positions. Blue spaces are areas the ranger can move to with enough action points left for an attack. Orange spaces are areas within their maximum movement range. The red target preview lines show if their new position places them within the target range. Okay. So if we come up here and attack you. Alright. Down. Oh shit. That's one hell of a machine, man. Jesus Christ. what? We'll do basically no damage to that, so there's no point in shooting that. Is that a good guy or a bad guy? That's a bad guy. Okay. Alright. 
Just stay there. Here and attack and attack. I can see the fire. Okay. Down here we have. Once you're finished acting with a character, you may have action points left over. That's okay. You can put them to good use by opening your quick bar and selecting one of your final actions. Ambush, defend, or prepare. Okay. So. Attack, reload, stand up, abilities, oh, we don't have any abilities yet, item, we don't have, we do have a med hypo, uh, use of story 50% con, okay, precision strike and final action, ambush that costs 4, defend, use a hunker down and protect yourself from attack, and prepare. We're up to two your unused action points on we? well, we'll use defend, I guess. I'm taking your fingers, okay. Uh, another person down. I guess Major Bear Prasad is fixing something. That robot needs to die. Hey, I guess we can't really November, get hit. You have targeting control. Who? It's time to even the odds. Left click on the vehicle or use tab to select it, then attack the Dorsey Warbot to take it out. Okay. We'll left click you. And target you. Nice. That killed most of it. Well, killed the guys down there. Well, that's nice. Alright, let's shoot you. Need to reload. And then you can't shoot again, so let's just prepare. And then there's you. You can't get to a point where you can hit that guy. So let's just move up here. Yeah. Alright, that's the combat tutorial, I guess. Over here, you two. Come here. Listen, if you want to live through this, we gotta take out the bastards with the rocket launcher up on the dam. Okay. We'll each find our own way up there and catch him front and back. Got it? Sure. Find a way to the top of the dam. Right? Uh, understood, Good. Major. And remember, Arizona's depending on us. There's no giving up here, there's no going back. All right, okay. move out. All right. Hooey! <laughs> Look at them doodle bugs run! Come on, okay. cousins! Don't let them scatter! Keep them together while I reload the rocket gun! This will do everything I here. I love this thing! Man, there's a lot of stuff. We'll just loot everything and take a look in our inventory later. Is there anyone else to loot? Doesn't seem like it. Okay. I guess we're heading that way. But we'll have to do it in the next one, because we are out of time. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you're enjoying uh, Wasteland 3. I know I am. It's It seems like a lot of fun, even though we're just getting started. And... Uh, I think there's going to be a lot more action moving forward. 
So yeah, if you are enjoying the series, I would love to know about it. Please uh, hit the like button. It really help, helps me out a lot every time you hit that like button. And I do appreciate it more than you could possibly know. If you're new to the channel and not yet subscribed, why not hit the subscribe and the notification bell as well, so that you know when new videos are coming out. We're not only playing Wasteland 3, we play a lot of Cepheus Protocol, we play Star Sector, Space Engineers, Factorio, uh, yeah, so we, we play a lot of games here. So yeah, thank you so much for watching guys, I hope you come back for the next one, and uh, until then, see ya!